All right, so I'm gonna be showing how to open up and disassemble this HP laptop model 17-BY4063CL. All right, so we're gonna be using a JS1 or PH1 screwdriver. First thing we're gonna do is remove these rubber feet. I just use my fingernails. You can use a little pry tool or a flathead screwdriver, whatever works for you. <clears throat> All right, you wanna set that aside. The rubber feet are slightly different, so you don't wanna mix them up. One is, I believe this one is thinner. Right? Make sure that you are peeling up the adhesive as well, not just the rubber piece, because you want to be able to access these screws. Okay, so we're going to remove all these screws. You want to keep them in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. The way I do that is I put them flat side down like that. On my desk in the pattern, I remove them. So we got four here, we got one here, we got two here, and then we got one here, one here, and one there. Um, I'm just going to do four, three, and three for simplicity. All right, as long as you remember the pattern you set it aside, then you should be okay. All right, so let's go ahead and get all these screws out. If this video helped you out, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. All right, so <clears throat> um, after removing this screw, we should be able to just pull the CD drive out um, so if you just wanted to remove the CD drive, um, you only need to remove that one screw, all right? Um, but we'll remove it after we get all these screws out. Uh, the hard drive in this laptop failed, so <clears throat> we're pulling that out, and then we're gonna be replacing it with a one terabyte SSD. All right, so now that that screws out, I'm gonna slide my fingernail up and down here as I kind of pull, and that will kind of like wiggle the CD drive, and it should eventually pop out. There you go, just like that. So this is one of the thinner sizes. I think it's like a 9.5 millimeter or 9.7 millimeter, something like that. So if you wanted to get a hard drive or SSD, um, two and a half inch uh, caddy adapter there, you can do that. If you don't use CDs anymore, you can replace that with another hard drive or SSD. All right, there's two screws under here. We're gonna remove those as well. <clears throat> okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and try and pop this bottom cover off. Okay, so now that we've got all the screws out, what I like to do, um, usually I'll get my fingernail in the little gap between the bottom cover and the palm rest, okay? And then I'll push with my thumbs on the back and pull with my fingers up. You can see it clicks, all right, just like that, popping all the clips. And we're gonna work our way around the sides as well. Okay, just like that. This will be a little bit tricky, so we'll do that last. All right, we'll go over here and do the same thing. Okay, pop those clips. Just like that, be careful here. Oh, that one's actually cracked. All right, so be careful with this. I wonder if I can pop it and glue it in. Huh. All right, <clears throat> so we got that. All right, so this, you have to actually slide this thin piece of plastic um, inward slightly to get the clip out. So I'm pushing on this that way as I'm like pulling up. Okay, so slide that in. Let's see if we can do that. Oh, it's a little tricky. We're gonna start with this side. Apparently that one was already coming out. And then we're gonna go ahead and there you go. We unclipped all of those. All right, we're gonna work our way around the back edge now. There we go. Okay, and let's see. Usually this back edge is gonna be a little tricky. We might have to just kind of lift it and then hopefully it will pop apart, okay? Um, it feels like there are some clips on the middle as well. Sometimes you gotta like push somewhere and then it will kind of release, but let's see, it's staying attached. Okay, so, oops, I'm getting my finger in there and I'm kind of pulling, and there's a clip somewhere here, but it doesn't want to come out. Hmm. Let's see, we might have to pop that first. Okay, let's see, let's go ahead and pop this corner as well. Okay, come on. Oh, that was stuck pretty strong. Oh, that helped pop that thing back in place, good. All right, and then there's a clip somewhere here. So <clears throat> you can see if we're pulling it, it's kind of stuck. And sometimes pushing on it, we'll get it to pop out. Let's try and go from the side. Nope, we might just have to pull because it doesn't want to come out. Okay, so I guess we'll just lift it up and see. Let me see if I can figure out which way the clip's going. Wow, that clip is strong. Oh, there we go. Okay, so here are the clips. They're actually going, um, locking in like here. So it would help to kind of slide it that way and pull it. 
All right, anyways, there we go. We got that out. Here we have the two and a half inch SATA hard drive. Let's actually get a thumbnail here. So I'll line this up. Okay, we'll get a thumbnail. <clears throat> We're gonna flip this latch up. Well, okay, so this is the battery. It's an HT03XL, very common HP laptop battery. We're just gonna quickly look at the inside components. All right, <clears throat> you have an eight gig stick. This is PC4-3200AA. You should be okay to use any PC4-3200AA RAM. Keyboard connectors here. There's a flip latch there. You can pull that out. The uh, optical disk drive has a connector here. It looks like it's actually going underneath the, uh, is that going underneath the motherboard? No, it's not going underneath the motherboard. It's under the wireless card. There's one antenna here. You would pull up on the tail to pop it out. Fan connectors right there. I'm not gonna pull this stuff out because the only issue is the hard drive. Um, you have the USB and SD card slot here with the cable running along underneath. And I think that one's actually going underneath the motherboard. Um, you got the touchpad connector here, flip latch. And then I don't know what this thing, it says pick. I guess that's to here, to the buttons. Okay, you have an M.2 PCIe MVME SSD slot here. At least I think it's PCIe MVME, it doesn't say. It could be M.2 SATA, um, but the notch is on the PCIe MVME slot side, so yeah. CPU soldered to the motherboard, speaker connectors right there, and then a wire goes from this speaker underneath to this speaker. All right, and then you got the DC jack charge port connector here. If you wanna remove it, you do have to take these screws out and then you can swing the hinge up and pull that out. Um, LCD LVDS connectors here. If you're gonna mess with this, very important that you disconnect the battery. So to remove the battery, there's the screws here. Um, two at the bottom here, one screw here and one screw here. And then you can go ahead and pull this straight up. It has little like um, fins that kind of seat down like in like that. So when you pull the battery up, it's basically sliding it out like that. Okay, and that's pretty much it. It's a little bit dusty, so I'm gonna dust it before I swap the SSD. Let me do that and I'll be back. All right, so I'm back, we cleaned it out. All right, a lot less dust here and here. All right, let's go ahead and swap the hard drive out for the SSD. Okay, I'm gonna switch over to a one terabyte SSD. Um, to install Windows, you need a USB Windows installer. You can actually create one um, from Microsoft's website. They actually have a utility that lets you create a Windows 10 USB installer. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and pop the hard drive out. Okay, so hard drive connector is connected here, and then you also have this flip latch. We're gonna just disconnect it from here, if we can. So the connector right there, I'm gonna use my fingernail to pull it slightly. You can see there's a gap forming, and then I'll slide my fingernail in here. Obviously you can use like plastic pry tools and stuff to do this, but you can see now we can kind of pull the hard drive out. To get the hard drive out, we're gonna go ahead, there's these rubber tabs, I get under there and pull that up slightly. And then it swings up like this, and we can go ahead and pull that the rest of the way. And there's the hard drive, all right, very simple. Um, this comes out without screws, you just pull that over, it swings over, and it has these little rubber nubs that hold it in place. Okay, we're gonna now get the SSD and just put it back on the same way. So push those little nubs in there, and then get in there and get these nubs in there. Okay, so now we got the SSD back in. We're gonna go ahead and reattach this, All right? It feels like there's some tape or something holding this cable. Yeah, there's like a black thing of tape holding that cable. So if you're gonna put this back in without, I mean the way I did it, which is basically not unplugging the cable and not taking out the tape, you have to kind of make sure you get there with the right amount of slack, line everything up, okay? And then push this in as we lower it down. Okay, there we go, and then just get that in. And there's the hard drive replaced with an SSD. We're gonna zoom back out now. And now we just gotta get the bottom cover back on and then install Windows. So again, to install Windows, you would push F9 on boot. It'll let you choose the temporary boot device and yeah. All right, so we're gonna get this all lined up. Go ahead and push this all back down. Work your way around all the edges. Make sure to click everything back in. This needs to, again, slide slightly over, okay? And then you wanna check, make sure all the clips look good. All right, and let's go ahead now and get all the screws back in, and then we'll do the Windows install 
portion. Um, I'm not going to show that part, but I will boot from the USB just so you can see um, the install somewhat startup process. Okay, so you get those two screws in, get the optical disk drive, slide that back in. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and just get all the rest of the screws back in. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Again, hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. If you can't help out that way, it would help a lot if you could watch a few of my other videos and then like and comment um, on those as well because that's what the algorithm likes to see. Um, other than that, you're welcome to stay as I get all these screws back in and then um, we are going to, again, at least start the Windows install process so you can kind of see. All right. Again, I created the Windows uh, USB installer from Microsoft. If you need to find like how to do that, just let me know. I can send you a video that kind of shows you somewhat how to do it. All right. And yeah, so we got all the screws back in. Get the two rubber feet in. Okay, I like to check and see if the thing lines up the same way because I don't want to put the rubber piece in upside down. I want to try and keep it the same way it was when I found it. Sometimes there's like little nubs and stuff that stick out on here that if you put it the wrong way it won't line up right. So yeah, alright, and usually I'll put in the outer edges first and then work my way towards the center. So any excess slack will kind of push itself towards each other instead of it all like pulling to one side. Right, we've got the other one here. We're gonna do the same thing. Okay, just line up that part, get a little bit of it in, and we'll go over here and we'll get this side in, and then work our way towards the center. And there we go, that's it. Let's flip this over and we'll do the Windows install. All right, a second, I do need to get the USB thing. You have a Windows. I'm going to use a Windows 10 USB installer. Microsoft allows you to create like Windows 10, Windows 11 as well. All right, we'll put that in, power it up, and we'll just press F9 on boot. I don't know if their battery's dead. I hope not. Oh, yeah, no, okay, their battery's good. It was completely dead when they brought it, it wouldn't turn on until I plugged it in. So, after doing that, you can see now we can boot from the USB hard drive. So, I'll press enter to continue, and I'll boot my Windows 10. And that's pretty much it. Just follow the on-screen stuff if you're doing Windows install. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Let's drop this. Bye.